Hola, hola. So I recently bought this car. It's a used car and I got very lucky for many reasons, but I was so close to making a huge mistake. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I am going to leave it somewhere over here or over here. Today though, today it's all about sharing the seven mistakes to avoid when buying a used car. out Ta -da! I can keep my glasses in there and sunglasses some people have a 360 backup camera I have a place to put my sunglasses in don't tell me that this car is not fancy okay let's go Right now I'm looking for a place to park because it's pretty chilly out there and I am not getting out of this car anytime soon. All right, so I parked at a spot. I don't think I need these. I think it's nice and bright in here. Is it too bright? A little too bright. Okay, so seven mistakes to avoid when buying a used car and i am going to rank them from seven being the least to number one being like one of the the most huge the hugest is that even a word i'm gonna need hello accent for this hugest the biggest mistake to make so number seven and this is going to sound like a no-brainer but honestly don't make a rushed decision and if you watch my video of how i bought this car you know the mistake that i was about to make there's absolutely no way you're not going to make a rush decision and regret it later uh, whether it's because you found a better car because you found a cheaper option because you found something that was more catered to your needs whatever it is the reason you will regret it later take it easy sleep on it, go home, have some food. And then if after you still feel like you want to make that choice, make it. Number six, choosing a car because of luxury trim. And what do I mean by that? So the trim of the car, and it's something that I learned thanks to my friend Paula. Paula, if you're watching this, I thank you so much for taking the time. She took, honestly, like she was on the phone with me for one hour explaining so many things to me that I had never heard before. Things that I needed to know before buying a car. So honestly, Paula, if you're watching this, I will be forever grateful. So one of the things that, that uh, we need to consider when buying a car, not that necessarily you need to consider it, but one thing that is good to know is a trim. Is it like a sportive? Is it like the most basic? Or is it like a luxury version of the car that has, you know, like the 360 backup camera, the red stitching on the leather seats that has like the boss um, speaker? When you're buying a used car, this car has been on the road for a while. And if it's over 100,000 kilometers, it's going to start certain things are going to start to fail including all those things that you were so excited to get uh in the purchase so the more accessories that it has the more things that will break and the more things will have you'll have to uh fix in the long run i came to this place because it was like a it's very lonely there was no one on the road only squirrels which i love watching <laughs> But somebody just came and I think they're having like a smoky or something and they're listening to music. So we're just going to go somewhere else. So many people are so good at making videos while they drive. And I'm not going to lie. I secretly, secretly used to hate them. I was like, oh, why aren't you paying attention to the road? Whatever. I understand. It's kind of like the same thing then than being with someone in the car you're still paying attention to the road as you're talking to that person what i don't understand sometimes is when they are like looking at the camera and like i'm like eyes on the road please eyes on the road number five is not making a conscious decision whether you're buying the car from a dealer or from a private owner personally i chose to do it with a dealership because i am a new i'm new at this i've never bought a car for myself like by myself i had no idea what i was doing to be honest so doing it with a private owner oh, and this person is leaving too nice thank you sir so i figured that doing it with a private owner 
it would be like more risky for me so I decided not to and I went for a dealership so a lot of people maybe because they have a lot of time in their hands and they can do it they just go through a dealership and then they also look for people on Kajiji or on what is it what is the other one Auto Trader, etc and they look for private owners as well for private sellers personally I think that that's a mistake and it's a waste of time to do it like not just pick one and go for it but I might be wrong I don't know what do you think I'm going to show you where I am. For those of you who don't know Stratford, uh, but I'm going to put on my abuelita sweater, at least. This is really cold out there. Um, and I'm definitely going to put on my sunglasses because the, the reflection, no, the refraction of the light on the snow is not good. But let me show you around. Okay, let's go. Okay. So this is Queen's Park in Stratford. Uh, there's one of the theaters, festival uh, theater. And oh, it's so windy and cold. And this is like the path around the river. It's such a beautiful walk. If you go around from the beginning, from wh where this starts till the end, and then you go back around, loop around, it's almost like an hour walk and it's amazing. It's a, such a nice walk. You'll find geese and ducks. It's kind of nice. It's actually very nice. Okay, so let's do mistake four and let's hope I don't freeze to death or get run over. Mistake number four is not having in mind all the other expenses that you will have to, all the, all the other money that you will have to spend besides paying for your car, like insurance, CAA, which is a service just in case your car breaks down or you need help when you're on the road. I definitely, I think that that's something that everybody should get. So there are other expenses that you need to bear in mind and a lot of people kind of don't think about it. I, I, I honestly, I kind of had an idea of it, but I didn't know how much money it would, it would actually be. And once I started like, you know, making my budget, I was like, I am going way over my budget for this month. But you know what? It's things that you have to do. Um, and if you're going to have a car, you definitely need to bear that in mind. The extra es expenses that you know nothing about. Okay, how do you like that beeping? Letting me know that the keys are in the ignition. Okay, so now we're going to like the top three of the biggest, biggest mistakes. Number three is choosing looks over mileage. That title is self-explanatory. Basically choosing a car because it looks good, because it's nice and whatever, but it's got over 180,000, 200,000 miles. Do I even need to explain it? Like I said before, after cars go over 100,000 miles, a lot of things start to fail. I was very lucky that I found a car with 90,000 90, miles. Very, very lucky. This was a jam, like somebody on Instagram told me, a cream puff. But anyway, miles over looks always at number two we have a really 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 important one and i'm going to leave on my abuelita sweater because it's nice and cozy ignoring carfax check Carfax check is basically a, a service where you can see if the car has a lien against it, if it's been stolen, how many times it's been, it's been repaired, what kind of service has been made to it uh, or done to it. Uh, you can see where it was manufactured, how many owners it's got, if it's been in an accident or not. And even though not all accidents need to be reported, you still need to check Carfax don't forget about it. If you live in Canada, it's very, very, very important. I don't know if this service exists everywhere, but Carfax check is something that you need to check before buying a used car. All right, let's do this. 
mistake number one to avoid when buying a used car is actually leave it in the comments what do you think it is well i find my glasses because they're not in the glasses sunglasses compartment oh they're there Ta -da. i don't need you today it's nice and bright outside wait a minute as i was editing this video i was like if it's bright outside wouldn't it mean that i actually need my sunglasses sometimes when i speak english i don't make a lot of sense i'm sorry okay so mistake number one is not having the car checked by a trusted mechanic mm -hmm. and you know what i've known people who have bought used cars that they take from the dealership and they take home and the cars work it, it, it works out well i recommend you whether you are an experienced well if you're experienced i don't need to recommend you anything you're probably not watching this video but if you are not an experienced uh car uh buyer getting your car checked by a trusted mechanic is the way to do it i was in love with a chevrolet Trax, and then when i took it to the mechanic they said don't get this car for this this and, the, and these reasons and they saved me a lot of money and a lot of heartaches and heart and headaches in the future trust the mechanic it's the only way to go let's do this again all right that's it for today thank you so much for being here thank you for watching if you consider that this video could be useful for anyone you know please share give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel have an awesome day Mwah. thank you for being here Adiós. And now I'll have to prepare for my full G test. I'm excited. Wish me luck.